Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Government House. If you're able, would you please stand for the arrival of our official guests? Ms Kim Richards, MP, Member for Redlands, representing the Premier of Queensland and Minister for Trade, the Honourable Anastasia Palaszczuk, MP. Mrs Deb Flecklington, MP, Leader of the Opposition, Shadow Minister for Trade. Mr Darrell Seckham, OAM, representing Associate Professor John Harden, AM, Chairman of the Order of Australia Association, Queensland Division. Please join with me in welcoming our official guests. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Again, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. If you're able to stand, please stand for the arrival of the Governor of Queensland and Mrs. De Jersey. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Your Excellency, with your permission, I'll begin. His Excellency, the Governor, will present the following Australian honours and awards. Appointed an officer of the Order of Australia in the General Division, Mr Thomas Charles Moll. For distinguished service to youth, particularly through charitable awards programs and to public administration and education through organisations including the Duke of Edinburgh Awards, Australia, the Queensland Department of Education, the Australian Education Union, and Sesame Lane Child Care Group. Appointed a member of the Order of Australia in the General Division, Mr David Mark Connery. For significant service to the community, to young people with high care needs and to Queensland Regional Museums. Dr Ian Douglas Galloway. For significant service to the museum sector, to historical preservation and to the environment, including as President, National Trust Queensland and Chief Executive Officer, Queensland Museum. Mr Peter John Maguire, for significant service to local government and to the community of the Queensland Central Highlands, including as Mayor of the Central Highlands Regional Council and Mayor, Deputy Mayor and Councillor of Emerald Shire Council. Professor Paul Edward Simshauser. For significant service to the energy sector through executive roles, applied economics and policy research with organisations including Infogen, the Department of Energy and Water Supply, AGL Energy and Griffith University. Mr Waverley Shane Stanley for significant service to the Indigenous community through support for education as founding director 
of the Yulari Indigenous Education and through the establishment of the Rosemary Bishop Indigenous Education Scholarship Program. Awarded the Medal of the Order of Australia in the General Division, Dr. Ian Linton Airy, for service to the community through the Wesley Mission Queensland, including as Chairperson, Wesley Mission Queensland Council, and Art from the Margins, and member, Wesley Mission Queensland Board, and Uniting Care Queensland Board. Mr. Carlo Antonio Campana. For service to lawn bowls through organisations including the Queensland District Bowls Association, Bowls Queensland and Tweed Heads Bowls Club and as a qualified club coach and umpire. Mr. Geoffrey Robert Elworthy, for service to sport, particularly dancing, through organisations including Dance Sport Australia, the Australian Dancing Society, the Australian Dancing Board Queensland Branch and Dance Link. Mrs. Mary Lou Gittens, for service to conservation and the environment through organisations including Landcare Australia Limited, the Murray Darling Basin Community Committee, Condomine Alliance, the Condomine Catchment Management Association, Queensland Water and Land Carers, and Southern Queensland Land Care Forum. Mrs. Lorraine Stacy Hatton. For service to the Indigenous community, including as Elder of the Nanuku tribe, as mentor and co-chair of the Queensland Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders Dedicated Memorial Committee. Mr. Christos Kazanis, for service to the Greek community of Brisbane through organisations including the Greek Orthodox Community of St George, Brisbane, Greek Orthodox Youth Australia, the Paneri Greek Festival and the Australian Hellenic Sports and Cultural Centre. Mrs. Ruby Carmel Lidlow. For service to veterans and their families through organisations including the Queensland Council of Ex Service Women's Association, the Kedron Wavell Sub Branch, and the Pine Rivers Meals on Wheels.
Mr. Cedric John Mellor, AFSM. For service to the community of Gainda through organisations including the Gainda Volunteer Fire Brigade, Gainda Shire Council, Gainda Heritage Railway Rail Trail, and Gainda Historical Museum. Gary James O'Dwyer for service to the community of the Tweed Coast through organisations including the Return and Services League of Australia, Pottsville and District Subbranch, Tweed Coast South Lions Club and the New South Wales Rural Fire Service. Dr. Terence Baden Parsons. For service to education with the Corridors Group and Christian Youth Camps. Mrs. Maria Teresa Stevenson. For service to education through organisations including Ipswich Girls Grammar School, U3A Ipswich and Morton and the Zonta Club of Ipswich. Mrs. Juliet Wright. For service to the community through charitable initiatives, including as founder and chief executive officer of Give It. Actually, that concludes this afternoon's and this week's ceremonies. Could I now invite you to address the recipients and their guests? Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, I begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the lands on which we gather this afternoon, the Turrbal and Yagara peoples, and pay my respect to their elders past and present with encouragement to their young emerging leaders as well. Kay and I welcome you most warmly today to Government House and to this room full of proud beaming faces. Much as I would like to think that I am the sole cause of that happiness, <laughs> I know that the family and friends of today's recipients are also focused on those sitting right in front of me. And rightly so, because today provides a brief opportunity to observe in these front rows a gathering of what I think of as Queensland's, indeed Australia's, secret army. Normally the foot soldiers of this army are experts at camouflage. We could walk into an office, a sporting venue, a community organisation or pass them in the street and not realise they were there or who they are. It is an unusual army. Though it is spread throughout our state, it has no command structure and most of the troops have never met one another. But this particular force has no territorial ambitions no desire to conquer others. 
quite the opposite. It is an entirely benevolent force in our communities whose motto might well be, do good. This army is firmly on our side. Fortunately, fortunately for us, this group's work in the community has not gone unnoticed. We have just heard their marvellous achievements read out for all to hear and seen them presented with prestige national awards. As a result, this particular cohort of the secret army is no secret anymore. We now know where this elusive group has been quietly doing good and how they have gone about it. Some have been busy in education, including youth schemes like the Duke of Edinburgh Awards, scholarships for Indigenous youth, service to Ipswich Girls Grammar School and educating at-risk young people. Others have focused on different aspects of young people's welfare, providing appropriate accommodation for those with high care needs and acting as mentors to Indigenous youth. Yet others have been active in specific communities, serving the Queensland Central Highlands through local government, the community of Gainda through just about every organisation in town, <laughs> in Tweed Heads through the RSL and Lions, in contributing to the well-being of Brisbane's Greek community and to the welfare of ex-service women and their families. Our awardees also pop up in sporting environments, lawn bowls, especially on the Gold Coast, and as a national figure in dance sports. Service to museums and the preservation of our heritage is the field of another awardee, and complemented by the recipient focused on conservation through organisations including land care. One award recipient has made major contributions to the energy sector as an academic and senior executive, another to community health through the Wesley Mission in Queensland, and a third as a journalist and author. And it is fitting, as a summation of the whole group, to, le to leave to last an awardee who is an expert in giving. As is now abundantly clear, the record of service and achievement represented by today's awardees is truly remarkable. They are indeed a potent force for good. On behalf of the people of Queensland, Kay and I offer our heartiest congratulations for the great honour done to today's awardees. We extend our heartfelt thanks for the tangible and positive difference you have made to the lives of so many others. Your army may not give out marks of rank, but you now possess marks of distinction of your own in the form of the highest honours that Australia bestows. Wear them often to inspire others. That way this marvellous secret army will become a yet more powerful force for good in our community. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Ladies and gentlemen, again, if you could stand, please, for the Governor's departure. Could I invite you and Mrs. De Jersey to retire momentarily while we organise recipients for a photo? Thank you. Official guests, could I invite you to follow Flight Lieutenant Darwin out onto the lawn? <laughs> 